As a musician, he has bussed at LRT stations, performed at prestigious concert halls, and swanky functions in front of the Prime Minister. Now, Izaz Azhar can also add performing for the US President Barack Obama to his CV. When the opportunity to perform for President Obama and all the other dignitaries at the state banquet held at Istana Nagara on April the 26th arose, the 28-year-old Perlis-born music entrepreneur and self-taught musician, who currently commands 11 instruments, jumped at the chance to play the gig of a lifetime. I received a call from uh, the musical director of RTM, Datuk Mozani Ismail, and he was like, hey, we are playing, RTM is playing for Obama this, uh, this week, you want to wanna join in? I said, yeah, of course, why not? And this was also in due to one of my students, it's an exceptionally special student. He's actually the, none other than the Minister, Dr. Sri Shabri Chik. Yeah. Yeah, who is the Minister of Communication. And he said, hey, he says, why don't you play for it? I've got no objections. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> On the night, Izaz played a saxophone rendition of Michael Jackson's Heal the World, accompanied by the RTM Orchestra. Other performers on the night were Jacqueline Victor, Sino Abidin, and violinist Charmaine Lai and Jason Lim. We had one rehearsal. I wouldn't really call it a rehearsal, more like a run through to find the key actually, because I didn't have any score. They asked me to play the song Heal, Heal the World by Michael Jackson. And there's no score, I didn't know the structure, I didn't even know the key, it just went up in a blank state of mind. <laughs> we ran through uh, one day. The next day, we had a sound check at the Istana itself, which wasn't also a rehearsal, it was a sound check, and then showtime. For Izaz, performing with the RTM Orchestra, was another highlight of the evening. These guys are pros. It's an honour to share the stage with them. And um, it shows that the talent that Malaysia really has. We produce top-notch musicians. Our guys are at the forefront of everything as far as their skill is concerned, as far as how good they are. They can hold, hold their, their own, anyone in the world, I think. A self-made entrepreneur, Izaz left university halfway through an electronics engineering degree that established the guitar empire a company specialising in musical instruments, acoustic material, as well as studio and ballroom acoustic design, renovation and supply, along with his business partner, Ray Lee. Currently, Izaz holds the position of Executive Secretary of the World Youth Jazz Festival and was formerly the principal clarinet player and section leader for National Youth Orchestra for four years. There are two parts to me. One is uh, as an entrepreneur, the entrepreneur side of me and there's also the musician side of me. I've played in a lot of gigs, I've played in many shows since 2006 actually when I first started uh, the small rehearsal studio back then. Mm. I've played in shows um, from street busking, I've played in the street, I've played in the LRT station, I've got chased away by the DBKL, mm. I've got chased away by men carrying parangs, I kid you not, <laughs> that's a long story, <laughs> we'll elaborate one day. Okay. I've played for the Prime Minister, I've played for Concert Hall and um, as of recent with for President Obama yeah. and I think my musical shenanigans have taken me many places and I'm very grateful to have done all that. I think I managed to play Michael Jackson, whether or not I did justice to him or not, we'll have to see whether he rolls in his grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I did try my best and it was actually a nerve-wracking thing. You know, I've played almost everywhere and uh, it comes to a point where it doesn't affect you so much anymore once you have a lot of experience here and there. After all, it's just music. Everybody does make mistakes and slip up once in a while. Mm -hmm. But when you're performing in front of Obama, the Agong and uh, the Prime Minister and all the other dignitaries, it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> <laughs> and when you don't have any rehearsals, it's also a different thing altogether. Right, so right. yeah, it was, it was quite cold. So while he may not have been able to meet Barack Obama in person and shake his hand, Izaz managed to do the next best thing as far as musicians are concerned, and that is to perform a song for the US president. Now how many musicians can boast that? Mm -hmm.